Donna and Winston, we are at the port of Piraeus in Athens, and we are about to board a ferry to the island of Aegina. Yes, and let me just tell you, they cram a lot of heavy equipment on these ferries, but off we go, churning the waters, leaving Athens behind. You would not believe the size of these ferry boats. We were picturing a much smaller boat, but they have everything. There's like a cafe. Look at all of the seats outside, and there's a whole inside part too. They really look like cruise ships. That's how big they are. And there are, I want to say, hundreds of these cruise ships. I mean, <laughs> cruise ships. Hundreds of these ferries all over the Greek islands. And just look at how beautiful it is. It was a great ride. And I will say they are very punctual. The one that we went on, when they said we are departing at 9.03, that gate was coming up at 9.03. So don't be late if you're taking a ferry anywhere. It's a beautiful, quick ride, 17 miles across the Saronic Gulf. Took us a little over an hour and a half to make our way to Aegina Island. Hanging out with the seagulls. <laughs> How beautiful it is. Hi, Donna and Winston rolling with the halls. We are in the little island of Aegina, Aegina in island. Greece. We're here, baby. We Yay. made it. Yeah. And this is one of the monasteries on the island, and we're going to go and visit it today. And then when we leave here, we're going to make a big loop around the island and check out everything there is to see. So y'all want to go with us? Let's go check it out. This is the Holy Church of St. Nectarios. He was one of the most widely known Greek Orthodox saints, and his tomb is located right here on the grounds. It is such a beautiful and peaceful place. We loved walking on these beautiful marble corridors and the grounds are just gorgeous. Up there where you see the Bougainvillea, right above that is the monastery. Everything here was just breathtaking. All over Greece, we lit candles in memory of our loved ones and prayers for our friends who need healing. As you can see, the building is under renovation, but in spite of that, it's still a stunning space. We couldn't help but feel a sense of peace the whole time we were at this beautiful church. Okay, we wanted to take just one second to address this car situation. Now, Don and I have a long, illustrious history of renting cars in foreign countries. And by long, illustrious history, I mean we did it once in Costa Rica. But we had so much fun driving our little four-wheel drive all over Costa Rica. We decided to do it again, so this is our car today. A Suzuki Jeep is what they said. Yeah, what uh, said. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't know. But this is a fun little car that uh, the top folds down, and it's a manual stick shift. When we rented the car, the guy actually said, do you know how to drive a stick shift? Because most Americans don't know how to drive a stick shift. Oh, most Americans In which I pointed out, I learned to drive on a stick shift. And if you know me, you know the truck I learned to drive on. You get bonus points if you know the name of it, comment below. So here's an interesting little fact. These doors do lock, but then you have this very secure little back section <laughs> so, that just unsnaps. So, so go. we're not so locking our car. Today. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna take some more video from the car so you can see our little road trip around Aegina Island here in the beautiful country of Greece. Y'all hang out. We are now driving up the hill, mountain I guess, up to the Temple of Aphaia. And the scenery here is just beautiful. We didn't realize it was going to be so hilly and there are groves of olive trees and also pistachio trees. And we found out that Aegina is the pistachio capital of Greece. And here we are arriving at the Temple of Aphaia and the views from here are just amazing. Check this view out from the parking lot. Ah, oh, beautiful. And here we are high atop the hill at the Temple of Aphaia. As you can see, stunning views. It was very peaceful up there. Quiet, beautiful day. And all the way across the bay there, what do we see? That's Athens, 17 miles away. 
But here's the reason we drove up the hill, the beautiful temple of Aphaia. Now Aphaia was the daughter of Zeus, and the temple was built in 470 BCE to honor her. Legend has it that she flung herself into the nets on this island, and that's why they honor her here at Aegina Island. Now we did notice as we're looking at the temple, it's very similar in architecture and design to the Parthenon and the Temple of Poseidon. Of course, you'll notice there in the background, more ocean. So we were all the way on the top of this island, as high as you could possibly go. We did love spending some time here, but there was a little nearby cafe uh, next to the parking lot. So after we explored the grounds and learned about Afea, we took some time to go visit the cafe. Okay, we have a long tradition of renting cars in foreign countries. One. Once, one, one other. But the one time we did it, <laughs> we named the car. Yes, we did. It was Azul. Azul. A little blue car that we drove in Costa Rica. So today we decided this hoss of a car, this lean, mean, island exploring machine we're in, I have named it White Light. White Light. Yeah. White Light. We just purchased these pistachios that are made uh, grown on this island. So we just learned to the correct pronunciation of the island is Ayina. 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 But these pistachios are awesome. Yes. Want some? I don't have enough hands. Okay. We're driving a stick ship. You can put your do... hands on the wheel. Yes. Yeah. All right, we'll check in with you. We're headed now down to the beach. Let's go check yes. it out. I'm going to go over all the things in this car that don't work. Okay, the, the speedometer doesn't work. This clasp up here is wire. you got to use your bare hands. My seat, when Her I seat tried to push recline. it back. Wait, let me see if I can show. No, don't do it. Wait. Earlier she tried to scoot back and she went it. flying, I went out, of, flying out of the Flying all the way to the back All the way back. Yeah. And this window back here, and even when you put it up, it's ripped. And this is how my seatbelt stays. And the seatbelt doesn't work. It just stays like <laughs> loose like this. I'm not sure it would do anything if we... we but all that for 50 euros. Yeah. 50 euros. And, uh, for the day. But so you know what? It's, it's a car. Oh, and the radio doesn't work. Yeah. So, and um, I want you to flip around and see where we're parked right now. Yes. So the beach. we're getting ready to, for the first time, put our toes Oops. in the Asian Sea. <laughs> and there's people swimming. There's people swimming out there. All right, I'm gonna try it. Whoa, it's pretty chilly. My feet are criminally white. That's a rock. My, look how white my feet are. I'm gonna get them some Mediterranean sun. Where's the Tuscan sun? Is that in France? Oh, is it Italy? Tuscany. Italy? I don't know. Oh, Tuscany, yeah. yeah. Duh. And here's the beach over here. We've almost driven all the way around this island in a circle. Okay, we stumbled into a little slice of paradise here. Right here on the beach. This little bar back here that has beer. Wait for it. $3.50 a glass. This this is, uh, we're just going to hang out here for a little while. We're never going to want to leave. Don't even know the name of this place, do we? What's it called? Uh, Ocampo? Ocampo Beach Bar. Ocampo Beach Bar. Here we are at the beach bar. We're having fun now. Woo! <laughs> scenic Byway. Here is the big scenic highway. Pretty awesome. 
they have these little houses. That's a big house. But they're like right across the street from that. Pretty amazing. We had a great lunch and now we are headed down to Ayina Old Town and it is a different view now. We had the beach and as we get closer to Old Town, you can see that the architecture and there's little businesses and a bumpy road, you can tell by my uh, <laughs> camera work. And look how tiny the streets are. Good thing we had our small little car because it fit perfectly on these streets but everything is just charming. And we sought out these umbrellas because I had seen this before we came. So we searched and searched and we found them. It made me so happy. Look at this little alleyway. It's so awesome. This is such a cute, look at this. Awesome. <laughs> Look how beautiful this floral shop. I love this. more it just keeps going and going and going oh, gorgeous gorgeous look at these roses beautiful unfortunately all good things must come to an end we're returning white lightning our faithful steed <laughs> we're returning him to the rental car place right here. It was a good car. He served us well. But the adventure continues, right Donna? Yes. Make sure we lock it so nobody can get inside. Oh yeah, I got a lot of stuff to get out of there. Any parting words for our friend, White Lightning? No. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Have a nice life. Thanks for the memories. So long and thanks for all the fish. Once White Lightning was returned, Donna and I made our way out to the dock to catch the ferry back to Athens. It was a very windy afternoon and we were both impressed by the parking job this captain did backing the ferry in. It was really an awesome job. Okay, this is a classic case of two ships passing in the daytime. <laughs> two ships passing in the <laughs> We had such a great day on Ayina Island, and we hope that one day you'll get to visit it and see all the sights that we did. This is Rolling with the Halls. We'll see you next time. Bye.